Hi everyone, Sahil from QuickNode here and today let's learn how we can create a new token on the Solana blockchain. So to mint the token, we will follow three steps. In the first step, we will create a wallet. In the second step, we will create and upload the metadata. And in the third step, we will finally mint the tokens to our newly created wallet. So let's move on to the first step. Let's create a new file, wallet.ts. But before that, let's install few dependencies. So let me paste what we will be installing first here. So the first library which we will be installing is Solana Web3.js, which we will use to create our wallet as well as to get some tokens airdrop to our wallet. The second library which we will be using is Metaplex's new UMI library, which helps us interact and deploy programs on Solana. And the third library which we will be using is again Metaplex's MPL token metadata library, which helps us manage the metadata of tokens. The next library which we will be using is UMI bundle defaults, which are bunch of umi plugins and the last library which we will be using is mpl candy machine which helps us mint tokens so let's install these all right so now they are installed and now let's look at our wall.ts code which looks like this so over here we are importing the solana library and then we are importing fs so that we can work with file system because what we will be doing is we will create a wallet and then store the key pair the public key and the secret key in a json file so that we can access it in our mint.ts file as well which we will be using to mint our tokens and over here, we will need to add a RPC URL. So let's go to quick node, get a Solana DevNet URL because we will be minting our tokens on DevNet. And then we are establishing the connection. Then we are generating a new key pair. And then we are printing the new key pair in the console. And then we are converting the secret key to a string and splitting it with commas and then converting it to numbers and then putting it in an array. Then we are JSON dot stringifying the array, which means that we are converting into a JSON string. And then we are writing it to a file called guide secret dot JSON. And after that, what we are doing is we are airdropping some sol, which will be used to pay the gas fee to our newly created wallet. But before creating wallet, let's quickly install another library for base 58. So what this library will do is it will convert our uint8 array of the secret key into base 58 private key or public key so what we want to do is we want to paste the private key on the console as well so that we can import it in phantom and see our newly created tokens but uh, in practice you should never print your private key or you should never share your private key so let's create another variable for private key let's encode it all right so 
what this should do is this will print the public key over here and this will print the private key and uh, then this will print the airdrop transaction so let's run this file but before that let's create a typescript config file because uh, we will have to work with the json file in the mint token file so we will just have to do this we will have to make resolve json module as true so that we can import json files and work with them and now we are all good to create our wallet but before let's quickly rename this to the correct spelling of wallet all right this should be good okay let's run the file So as you can see, this is our private key, this is our public key, and this will be our transaction for the airdrop. And you are seeing these four two nines because airdrops are rate limited. All right, so let's grab this private key and add it to the phantom wallet so that once we create a token, we can see the token in phantom as well. Alright, so the wallet is imported and you can see it has one sol. So let's go back. So our first step here is completed. Now let's go on to the second step. So let's create a new metadata file. Let's name it token.json and the metadata will look something like this. So let's give our token a name. Let's name it cat with hat. <laughs> and the symbol could be C W H. And now we will need a description. So uh, new token to show how to mint tokens on Solana. And over here, we will need an image URL, which will be our icon for the token. So let's quickly grab a file. This will be our icon for the token. Let's upload that. So we are uploading it to QuickNotes IPFS because uh, we want to keep it decentralized. We want to store it on a decentralized storage. So that's why we are uploading it on IPFS using QuickNote. And uh, let's get the IPFS URL to check if the file is uploaded or not. Yes, the file is uploaded. So let's go back to our metadata file and replace this with the actual URL using which we can access the image. And now what we have to do is we have to upload this token.json file to IPFS. So let's open the directory in Finder or any file viewer. Let's go back to QuickNote dashboard. And this is our token.json. Let's upload it. Okay, so it's uploaded. To double check, copy the IPFS URL, view it over here. All right, yes, it's uploaded. So let's go back, create a new file called mint.ts, which we will use to mint our tokens. And over here, let me paste the code and then we can go through it line by line. So over here, we are importing a bunch of stuff, which we will be using in the code. And over here, we are importing the guide secret.json file, which holds the secret key. So we will also need RPC URL over here to first create a mint program account and then mint the tokens. So 
there's the rpc url over here we are creating or initializing the wallet using the secrets stored in guide secret file and over here we are assigning it as the signer for the transactions and then we will store the metadata in the metadata variable where the name will be the name of our token which is cat with hat so cat with hat then cwh cwh then the URI will be the metadata file URI which is this URI save it all right then we are creating a new key pair signer for our mint program account so that will store in mint and then we are telling umi to use the signer identity as the wallet which we had created earlier and then use the mpl candy machine to mint the tokens and this is the function which we will be using to first create a mint account for our token and then also mint our tokens to our wallet address so that's what we are doing over here mint is the mint account or mint program account for our token authority is our wallet address which we created earlier name will come from the metadata variable over here symbol will also come from the metadata variable uri same and then we are saying seller fee basis points is zero decimals will be eight how much tokens we want to mint so over here we are minting one million tokens because the decimals are eight we will need the extra zeros and then the token owner will be our wallet which we created earlier token standard is fungible because we are creating a token not an nft and then we are sending the transaction and logging down the success message in the console now let's mint our token yes now ments so now our token should be minted so let's go back to phantom copy the address and as you can see the token is already there as you can see there are 1 million tokens let's look it up in solana explorer as well so switch to devnet then paste our address go to tokens as you can see we are holding 1 million cat with fat tokens and if you want to check the token page or the token account it looks like this it has the logo which we uploaded or the icon which we uploaded the total supply is 1 million that's what we minted and this is the address of the token program account mint authority is our wallet address freeze authority is also our wallet address the number of decimals etc etc if you want to see the metadata you can go down here so this is how you can create a token on solana blockchain and if you learned anything from this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the quicknow youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye